What is going on, Denel High School? This is Mr. Aiden. We're going to be doing the fourth installment of kinematics, which is projectile motion. We're going to do a half projectile motion problem, which is like uh, you throwing something off a cliff or off a off a roof or something sliding off a table. Okay, it's half of a projectile motion. Now, if you get this down, full project projectile motion is easy. It's totally, totally easy. Um, oftentimes you'll hear me call this in class a cliff problem because this is what it looks like. You see this right away. Can you see the the thing flying off the cliff or off the table? Yeah, and in this problem there's a bunch of stuff that we haven't gotten to yet, but guys, what I want you to do is zero in on this part of the problem, which is the second part of the problem. This is our kinematics because what's happening as soon as it leaves that table, what do we know what's happening? gravity's pulling it down. It's constantly accelerating it. Now, something that I want to show you guys is when this object leaves the table, it leaves the table with a velocity in the x. Okay? Now, something that we know right when it leaves the table is, and I'm going to do this in two different colors, the velocity in the y initially is always zero. Just like if you're dropping something, the initial velocity is always zero. And so, but the velocity in the x is constant. It never changes. So we want to split this problem up into an x problem and a y problem. Okay? Well, I'll use the red for the y there. And a y problem. Okay? And with the x, we're going to use constant velocity, which means we only have one equation we can use. Vx is equal to dx over t. The y, we're going to use constant acceleration. That looks like an awful constant right there, but we're going to call that, that does say constant, acceleration. And so we're going to be able to use our constant acceleration equations. Now, guys, we don't know anything in, in the x, except for we know one thing. We know the displacement in the x in the horizontal. That's right here, 1.2 meters. I don't know anything else, okay? The y, I do know something. I know this, this is not written in the problem, but we have to know the initial velocity is zero. And I know this, this is the height in y, which we can also call the displacement in the y. And we have an equation, displacement in the y equals vit, velocity initial t, plus one half at squared. There's something else we know in the y is that our acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, and it's constant, if you're on Earth, of course. Okay. So, we're going to plug in what we know. We know this is 0 0.80. We know this big thing is 0, which is nice. Every time you have one of these pro cliff problems, that initial part is 0. We have 1 half at A, 9.8, or you could use 10, T squared. When I do my algebra here, how we're going to do our algebra here is we're going to move this, this 1 half over to the other side. So, we're going to multiply the 0.8 by 2. Then we're going to divide by 9.8. Then we're going to square root. And that gives us a time. Try to do that algebra in your calculator. It's 0 .404 seconds. Now, the great thing about time is time is always the same in the x and the y. Time is the great equalizer. So I can take this time, and I can move it over here into my x equation, 0 .404 seconds. And whenever I take the change in displacement over the change in the time, we get a velocity. And when I do this, my velocity in the x ends up being 3.0 meters per second, which means that was ultimately what we we're trying to find in this problem. How fast was this object flying off the table? Now, guys, sometimes you're trying to look for this number right there, which is your what we call your range or your displacement in the x, which is a nice, easy formula. But they would have to give you this number right here. They would have to give you the velocity. Okay, and so you would if you, you would take the velocity times the time, and that would give you your displacement right there. Okay, if that's what you're trying to find. So there's a bunch of things we can try and find in this problem, but this is called a cliff problem, and we got to know how to do it really, really, really well, and we'll get a lot of practice at it. Okay, guys, go to MrRaden.com, go to AP Physics. There's a little Google Docs on 1.4 projectile motion half. It'll quiz you on kind of what we learned in this in this vodcast, and hopefully it went well. I'll uh, catch you on the other side.